employers in the state sector owe millions. Employers in the private sector also owe millions. So I am certain that if the Commission of Police and the DPP look into the records, they will find that even those in the state sector are involved in this criminal act of not paying the contributions and on time. And don't talk about the one percent, but oh God, oh Lord, and people benefits are at stake. And as benefits don't fall out of the air, it has to be financed. That is what the money is for, to pay for the benefits. So, in addition to inviting all the unions to look into this to make sure that the employers are paying the, the NIS benefits. We also intend to approach all the members of parliament. This matter has to be raised in the legislature. They have a responsibility every single year when NIB sends up its annual report, it is laid in parliament. People have to look into the report, into the annual report. It is there. Employ, look in under the, 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 the line that says employers in arrears, and you will see the amount $500 million in arrears, not paid. The tenth report is before the parliament. It was approved by the board of directors. The report say. I don't know if, if the that because the contribution income is not enough to pay the benefits, it is less. And because of the fact that the amount of money being collected from investment has dropped way below what they projected to get, they have to take certain measures like extending the retirement age to age 65 and all this stupidness. I will deal with that later. But essentially, the whole 10th Accurate Report is premised on the, the, the objective of bringing the NIS pension down to 80% of the minimum wage. The minimum wage right now is about 2,700 a month, and 80% of that um, will come down to about 2,4. So it, it cut in the, the, the minimum pension down to that. In fact, the recommendation in the report is for every year you leave before age 65, cut the minimum pension by 6%. So all who retiring at age 60, by five years, between 60 and 65, the minimum pension of 3000 will cut by 30%. So they have $1,000 they go lost. And that is, that is the consequence, the consequence of people not paying the contributions. I, I am sincerely hoping that this message could go out so that everybody could put a hand in this thing and make sure that employers pay the NIS that they deduct from workers and that those who have been committing criminal offenses be brought before the courts.